Hello, welcome to this percentages video. This one is uh, outlining how we use percentage increase and percentage decrease. To increase by a certain percentage, what we do is we multiply by 100% plus the percentage we want to increase by. And I'll show you how that works. If we were wanting to increase by 8%, what we'd do is multiply by 100% plus that 8% and that would end up meaning we would be multiplying by 108%. Now the easiest way to do that is to think of it as a decimal. 108% is just over one whole, 100% being a whole. So it'll be easier if we multiply by the decimal version of 108%, which is 1.08. So we multiply whatever we want to increase uh, by 1.08 if we want to increase that amount by 8%. Let's have a look at another version. To increase something by 14%, we'll once again add that 14% to 100 and would be trying to multiply by 114%. Now the decimal version of that is 1.14. So all we do is multiply whatever amount we want to increase by 1.14. So let's have a look at an actual example. The question might say to increase $60 by 12%. Let's have a think through that. To increase by 12%, we will multiply by 100% plus that 12%. So we'll be trying to multiply by 112%. The easiest way to do that is to think of it as a decimal. So we'll multiply that $60 by 1.12. That would increase our $60 by 12%. So $60 times 1.12 on the calculator will give us an answer of 67.2. Now, remember that we kind of work in dollars and cents, so we'd be looking to think about um, what this next decimal is, this next decimal place. We'll just put in a zero in there, so we'll have dollars and cents properly. So we'll turn it into $67.20 as a sensible answer there. So no one really talks in 0.2 of a dollar, they talk in 20 cents there. So that's to increase by a certain percent. We add that percent we want to increase to 100, and we just try and find that decimal version, which makes it a bit easier for us for our calculator. All right, so $60 increased by 12% ended up being $67.20. Similar thing when we look at percentage decrease. Let's have a look. To decrease by a certain percentage, uh, we'll multiply by 100% minus the percentage this time. We're going to be making the number smaller, so there's no surprise we're going to have a subtraction in there somewhere. So to decrease by 8%, we'll multiply by 100% minus that 8%. So effectively, we'll be looking to multiply the, the number that we want to decrease by 92%. Once again, we'll think of a decimal version. Uh, so the decimal version of 92% is 0 0.92. And so if we multiply that whatever number we want to, de to decrease by 0.92, we'll get our final answer. Another example, to decrease by 14%, we'll multiply whatever number we want to decrease by 100% minus that 14% or 86%. Now the decimal version I think you can spot now, just to follow the pattern, is, would be to multiply that number by 0.86. Once again, let's have an actual example. To decrease $80 by 12%, we will look to multiply it by 100% minus that uh, 12%, or multiplying it by 88%. Now, the decimal version of 88% is 0 0.88. So if we multiply $80 by our 0 0.88, we'll have decreased $80 by 12%. Get an answer there is $70.4. No one talks in 0.4 of a dollar, really. So we'll think of putting an extra zero on the end to make, make a bit more sense in terms of uh, our money, our currencies, dollars and cents there. So $80 decreased by 12%, didn't decrease by much, ended up being a final answer of $70.40 once we decreased it. All right, so we've had a look at percentage increase and percentage decrease. Let's just recap now. To increase by a certain percentage, we'll multiply by 100% plus that percentage. And we'll turn it into a decimal to make it easier for us. To decrease by a certain percentage, we will multiply by 100% minus the percentage this time. So uh, really the difference is here uh, is that uh, to increase, we'll uh, take 100% and add the percentage. 
uh, before we multiply by the number and to decrease we'll take that 100% and subtract the percentage before we multiply by the number and remember working in decimals helps a lot there too. Hope that helps. Have a look at the video again if you wish to and uh, we'll catch you next time on peterblakemath.com. Thanks a lot so much for listening. See you next time.